Yeah. Want to go look for the single my type as well? Yes. And breathe. Yeah. And yeah. and <laughs> so if you listen to it and you figure say, yeah, this sounds like me, then Synchronous Sing on all social media That's platforms. right. Synchronous Sing is there. And I'll, anyway. I'll, I'll, I'll answer because there have been some guys <laughs> who have DM me and be like, what <laughs> What up, peeps? Welcome to another episode of Next Friday. Now, this week, we're joined by Courtney. Courtney, welcome to Next Friday. Thank you for having me. Great. So, Courtney. Yes. How are you? I'm yeah. good, you know. Yeah, I'm generally. Good. <laughs> generally, I'm good. I'm grateful to be alive. I'm grateful to be here. Grateful for my talent. Grateful for everything that like i can see everything hear everything and feel everything and yes yeah, so yeah. i'm grateful i'm grateful what what have you been up to you know these past few months with, with you know the whole pandemic and thing i mean <clears throat> just been doing everything i can to stay sane <laughs> and i think a lot of creatives well, <laughs> can agree with me we've just been uh creating but then also being mindful to take some breaks sometimes right because i was having a conversation with a friend the other day and um because i do music and i have a lot of friends that do music we also love to just generally listen to music talk right. about music and sometimes we can make music just consume us and just like that's all we think about that's all we talk about that's how we breathe that's so how we eat you know what i mean eat, so, sleep yeah breathe, music kind of thing yeah and because it was a hobby and now it's turned into a career it can be something that you just can't get away from right. but um it's very important to have other hobbies even if they're hobbies that are not that won't add to i guess like your personal growth even if it's just to sit down and just binge watch something on Netflix. Yeah, man, just free up the mind. Yeah, free up the mind and watch something when I see it. You don't need to watch no documentary <laughs> for animals <laughs> or no documentary for music. And things I know, not for so serious all the time. Yeah, things <laughs> not for so serious. Me love watch some liquor, to be very honest. Yeah. <laughs> People are tired of me saying this, but like, me love watch teachers pet on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of my favorite yeah. things to watch on YouTube. I love watch Teacher's Pet and I will watch the episodes over and over again. Yeah. Just has to have something that just put my mind completely at ease. You okay. know what I mean? Like love and i think that's really important and that's not all that i've been up to these past few months though you yeah. know i released a song called second and also just been working on you know other music as well to be released soon and yeah. just been making you know partnerships with other um producers and other just musicians and just you know friends yeah. in general yeah all right well Courtney, I want you to back up a little bit. You know, you, you said mu music for you, it moved from being a, a hobby mm -hmm. to is, this is like your full on, your main squeeze now. Yes. How did you make that transition and why? What <clears throat> caused that transition? I mean, I was really born into the music thing, you know, both my parents are musicians. Right. And but that don't say, you know, you're automatically going to be a musician as well or going to have any interest in music, but you know, it's it's something that I knew from from an early age. It's something I knew that I wanted to do, something I knew I wanted to make money off of and provide for my family when I have it and yeah. you know, so that transition, I mean, I've always been singing all throughout school, in high school, in prep school. You know, I was a JCDC baby. 
Um, <laughs> yeah, you know it not really. <laughs> I joke, it's real same way. You know, <laughs> JC needs to be baby. Um, but I did it in prep school, sang in high school, you know. And it's when I went to, I went to UWE first. Now I'm at Edna, but I went to UWE okay. first. And what I was doing at UWE, it had, I mean, it had something to do with like basically the business side of music, but I, I wasn't doing enough music, you know? And right. so it was difficult for me on a daily basis. And so when I made the transition and I went to Edna, that's when I really said to myself that it's time for me to take this seriously is either more I release music or no yeah, you know yeah. what I mean like <laughs> is either I'm gonna grow up or not you yeah, know what more. I mean and I think um I think it was just important to make the decision to grow up I yeah. suppose and part of it for me growing up meant releasing music before you decided to grow up though <laughs> grow up <laughs> musically um what what profession you had you had in mind for yourself was there ever another profession that you thought about for a minute um yeah uh when i was younger um i used to talk a lot i was one of them talkative children there so, so. You're a lawyer. yeah <laughs> <laughs> so everybody like even when i went to church and i would i would i was that type of child that literally would walk up to a random Adults, I used to talk to adults a lot. And I really used okay. to talk to like, <laughs> I used to talk to adults a lot. I used to be terrified to talk to like children my age and other children, but like <laughs> in terms of adults, I used to talk to adults because yeah. I was just like, I'm a child, they have to be nice to me and they have to entertain oh, them, you know. Yeah. So, like, I used to talk to adults, and every time I spoke to a, an adult, whether someone I knew before or a new adult, um, they would say, You know, you should be a lawyer, like, you. You talk a lot. <laughs> you should be a lawyer. And also, <laughs> you know, I wasn't saying foolishness. And, you know, sometimes, right. like, if I got in trouble, like, how I would plead my case at home. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I remember one time I was in high school and I did get in trouble for something. And I thought personally that, like, I should not have been in trouble for that. And I remember when I went home and I was talking, I was pleading my case to my grandmother. Yeah. You know, I kind of set it up in a way where, like, I'm you know spoke about a scenario like it <laughs> wasn't necessarily me and my mother just sat there in disbelief just looking at me trying to you know get my way out of you know getting in trouble and she, she was like know where we get that picnic from. <laughs> yeah she was just like y you could have a fighting chance that like last something for yeah. true you know and there was a time where i was kind of interested in the law thing for true and even in cape i did law in cape i didn't do okay. very well in my exams but I did the law in Cape and, you know, I'm a try with a little law thing. I like law and order and yeah. them look at something there, but yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't do anything other than music. Though. Okay. But talking about music though, and people, in case you don't realize or you don't see the resemblance as yet, Courtney is the daughter of singer Karen Smith. Yes, I am. And Jackie Jackson. Yes. From Toots and Meters. Yes. No. Too heavyweight that, you know. Truly, yeah. <laughs> what True. what was it like? You know, what kind of what was the influence like, you know, growing up? I mean I know it must be music, 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 but <laughs> was there tell, tell me about the musical influence and and then tell me about the the normal side of life, if there is a normal side of it life with parents like those it was there was definitely a lot of normal in my house i tell people all the time i grew up on silence <laughs> you know because you have like when you have parents who do normal nine to fives you know them have them like an escape and usually them right. like an escape is music so when them are clean at sunday time them put on a little gospel or them put on a little marvin gay or like the right. 90s music or something not my parents because when they're out they're surrounded by music right. 24 7 so when them come home like a piece of peace <laughs> them want peace and quiet <laughs> so even when i am playing my little music after a while my mother could come in my room and say excuse me right turn it down take it down if you not relax <laughs> no please relax you know um but it was 
definitely fun. There were a lot of uh, exciting times. So whenever me have to follow them, follow them go show and them look at right. something there. Used to be a lot of fun. And that really cemented it for me that that's something that I really want to do. Okay. You know, seeing my mother on stage and seeing my father on stage and just seeing that light in their eyes where they know for a fact that they would not want to do anything else. But um, it was always a beautiful thing to witness. And it's always an experience, you know, watching my mother on stage and just watching how she commands the stage, no matter what size the stage is, mm. you know what I mean? And she commands everyone's attention. And I always said to myself, that's something I want to do. That's my aim. That's my goal to just command mm. everyone in the room attention, you know. But yeah, we do. There are a lot of normal times as well. Um, me and my dad, when I was younger, we used to watch Law and Order together a lot. And we're TV besties in okay. my house. So we, <laughs> all, all of us, we love to watch TV. <laughs> we love to watch TV. That's one of our favorite pastimes. When I was younger, we had favorite commercials. That like whenever they came on, we used to shout, Mommy, Daddy, oh, Courtney, yeah. come, the commercial is... You know what I mean? Like... It was very, very, very normal, normal growing up, yeah. but you know, we had some good times where we would have got a couple of show and even rehearsals were fun for me. And, you know, because we live in Montego Bay, a lot of times we would have to travel to Kingston mm -hmm. for the shows and rehearsals. And that was always such a high point in um, my day, the traveling and the being mm -hmm. in Kingston. And, you know, I didn't grow up in Kingston, so Kingston was always like a little tone on version of disney world yeah, for me <laughs> especially like going to sovereign <laughs> yeah, yeah, going to sovereign for food when we're hungry because nobody now cook for the little weekend or no, whatever man. we did it for you know yeah, what i mean <laughs> yeah and just you know that fast life i realized from when i was a young age that i really like that whole nomad fast life yeah. of just going here and then the next day we have to go ochi and then the next day we have to go on the grill and then the next day we have to go saint <laughs> Elizabeth or yeah. some weird something like and I just I realized from my young age that I really liked that whole fast life thing you know what I mean so yeah it was it was great and it was also normal yeah, <laughs> but at what age did you actually start hitting the road with mommy and daddy how young were you <laughs> before I could like talk. Before I <laughs> yeah. my mother told me my mother told me the story once of um, when sh I was still you know, in my stroller. Yeah. She took me to a rehearsal once and she made the mistake of putting me right beside the drum set. <laughs> and, you know, she was singing and she was facing forward. And then she's just there enjoying herself, enjoying a little music. And then when she turned around, she says, I, my face was red and I was crying she, and she screaming and she couldn't hear me. I was oh, crying man. because I'm frightened because she put me right beside yeah. the drum set. <laughs> frightened, frightened, frightened. But you know from before i could talk before i could walk you know then my drag me not drag but you know they carry me to rehearsals and shows and stuff like that so it, yeah. you know from from before i could talk you know say this morning you know <laughs> but segue you're not scared of the drum set now no <laughs> <laughs> no when you talk about going into music though um like that's where you definitely want to take your your professional career um what was the reaction like from mommy and daddy um definitely when i was younger they said oh so cute <laughs> you know Cause they must, but, maybe, cause, but maybe try with the lot thing first <laughs> yeah they were just like Man, this is sweet i'm so cute so you know when it's jcdc my mother support me and she said go yes baby doing so well yeah. and that is the same thing grandma's the same thing and you know it's it's very cool when you know you as an adult you have a child and you realize the child is basically the you know your mirror and right. one following your mm -hmm. footsteps that's very cool you know but as I got older, and they were just like, oh, she, she really serious. You know? <laughs> they they realized as I got older that I was really serious about the music thing to the point where when I was in high school, every time I had to do homework, I would have to sneak and listen to music. If my mother <laughs> saw me listening to music, she'd be like, listen, you know you don't process music the same way like everybody else. You cannot be listening to music and do your homework. <laughs> you know? But um, they they were supportive 
but they were just very apprehensive and scared for me yeah. because they just know what this industry is like and they Definitely. know that it's very unpredictable you know what i mean and then also as a bigger woman you know my mother she was also very fearful for me because she was just like we're living in an age now where it's very visual and yeah. you know god bless her she's from a different time Definitely. and same with my father everybody yeah. and my grandma too you know they're all from a different time and so back in their day you know what i mean you had situations where um you know that song by cnc music factory everybody mm -hmm. does know. Yeah, you know you remember in the video it was a skinny woman that was singing it but yeah. is a fat woman sing that line yeah. you know and she but she wasn't in the video right. and we all know why <laughs> you know what i mean and yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> my mother is from that time you know mm. what i mean and so she was just like uh, you sure <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know yeah, what i mean yeah. like she was just very scared for me but you know in a way i had to teach her that i'll be fine mm. you know what i mean we're living in a different age now i'm more accepting age yeah, where you can do anything you, said, you want I got this. <laughs> yeah where you can do anything you want no matter how you look Definitely. you know what i mean yeah. so is me they really have a show where them said listen guys i'll be okay i can't really see people yeah. like me and people and see me and they change. like me yeah and yeah. times <laughs> changing so you know now especially more than ever they're behind me 100 percent. that's good so i'm that's grateful good. yeah and my grandma too yes i noticed you mentioned grandma a lot as well yeah she's a musician as well so you know it's, it's coming from family. everywhere yeah <laughs> yeah man I've, I've seen your mother perform um a number of times. Nice. Um, your father will. Yeah, I'm scarce. Yeah, not so much. He's scarce, but he's good. Yeah. yeah <laughs> Promise. <laughs> so, don't know to your musical talent and you know what you have to offer. Yeah. Did tell us about the song that is out now. Well, it's a song called Seckle. Uh, produced by the great JLL. Yes. Um, and I basically wanted to make a song that's fun. Mm -hmm. That, you know, you know, if you bust your brain too tough and think about the lyrics and them like a something there. But um, also, I wanted to make a song that has a little message behind it. And yeah. that just basically said that I am a very intentional person. So if right. you went you know, come to me and state your case and say, <laughs> you know, I like you, I pre, you know what I mean? We're yeah. not just gonna, I mean, we can't go with the flow, but you know, there are a couple rules. Right. Rules. There's a list. There's a list and... Um, well, I've heard about these, these <laughs> infamous lists that <laughs> some women have, you know. Yeah. So... Yeah, There's a list. Any, it, anything off of the list in the song, we don't know. I mean, yeah, me's not a man clown, and if you make me yeah. look like a man clown, me I got cut because me's a young girl. Oh, I think, because where you said, no, I think so, I, I two kick and box the man <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> No, but you know, me's a young girl. Yeah. And there is a list, and if you, if, the main thing is, don't make me look like a man clown. Can't, you know what I mean? Can't violate. Yeah, yeah, no, I can't violate because me can't just bring home any and any man to my grandmother, even though it's my parents and my grandmother, but me can't bring home any and any man to my grandmother. And so you can't have me out here looking like a man clown, looking like an idiot. Right. You know what I mean? So if you come to me and you say, yo, why pre me want you, me want this to be serious, you have to be serious about that, you, have, you mm. know what I mean? Or else it can't go work. Uh, you know, you could have just don't disturb my peace and exactly. keep, it, keep it moving, but you <laughs> disturb my peace. So what? Uh, no. Better What's step up? correct. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm putting you on the spot, of course. Okay. Viewers might want to hear <clears throat> your voice. 
<clears throat> Just give me a one line out of it, man. All right. Circle. <laughs> circle. So me a circle upon it, circle upon it properly. I may give you my only one and only company. Circle upon it, circle upon it properly. I may give you my only one and only company. If my love is what you chasing, let's go. No more time wasting. Me a circle upon it, circle upon it properly. I may give you my only one and only company. Circle. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yo, that bad, that bad. Thank you. Yeah, man, I love it. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate yeah, it. Man. So, so what, what has the, the reaction been like so far for Seco? It's been overwhelmingly well, great. Wow. Nice. I have heard no bad reviews, although I don't know if anybody would have told me no bad reviews to my face, although I wouldn't <laughs> mind, you know what I mean? I'm just starting. But... Um, no, like really, really good reviews and good reviews from my friends, good reviews from strangers, yeah. you know, good reviews from people in the industry, good reviews from my friends who are musicians. And I think that's, you know, one of the greatest compliments. Camilo, when a musician tell me, say, um, my song is good because... The ear fight. The, yeah, them have the ear fight and they're very hard to please. Yeah. Very... Critical, man. very critical, yeah, man. very hard to please, you know. Um, so even some of my musician friends, them were beer complicated music, them listen at it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and my tell me, say, No, man, is this a hit, man? Is I like, I'm so grateful, you know what I mean? So, so many good reviews, and you know, that just really give me the fuel to just keep going. And it, you know, mm-hmm. it's definitely a sign that this is where I'm supposed to be, I'm in the right place. When was the, the official release date for Seco? February 26th, I hope that's right. All right, so February it was 26. back in February. Yes. And just remind viewers where they can find you, you give them your socials and where they can... Okay, so on Instagram and Twitter, I am Sing Courtney Sing, and that's S-I-N-G-C-O-U-R-T-N-I, S-I-N-G, no space, no, not uh, just sing quite sing yeah. no full stop no un- just sing quite no come come dash no come <laughs> no nothing hard just really sing quite anything um and i'm on all streaming platforms uh apple music spotify tidal deezer audio max soundcloud youtube i have a video for that song as well it's on youtube so just type in yeah so just type in c-o-u-r-t-n-i and seckle and just how me i pronounce it so you have to type s-e-k-k-l-e seckle yeah yeah man no dainty thing around here the potter version (laughs) (laughs) yeah yeah man but um you you so this is your second single your yeah, release. my second original release. Right. Yeah. To, to remind us about the first one. The first one is called My Type was was is is My Type. Yeah. And it you know, funnily enough, I think Seckle is sort of a continuation of my type. I was just cause... about to ask because <laughs> the, the name suggests that, you know the title is telling. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Seckle is sort of in a way continuation of my type because my type was kind of like me sending out the bad signal (laughs) (laughs) my type was really me sending out the bad signal and saying hey everyone okay so i like this i like that i like that i like that i like that and um if you have those qualities then let's go so so what is your type what would i tell you (laughs) joe john you don't know Tell them, tell them, tell them what's tell them, my t- Tell them who your type is. So them say them, them either them, them keep it moving or them say <laughs> correct. Okay, well, <laughs> my type, um, it's kind of hard to explain. I mean, I have a whole song that talks about it, so you can go listen to the song and figure it out. But in terms of the physical the sense, jigsaw, yeah, <laughs> the, in terms of the physical sense, I like men that are taller than me, yeah, shorter than me. No, you know what I mean. Right, so I don't know, cause I'm like, av- I'm like average height for men. So right. it's you know it's not hard. So no know. hard feelings. No hard feelings. If just don't meet the criteria. Just keep it moving. No, yeah. <laughs> Want to go look okay. for the single my type as well? Yes. I'm free. Yeah, and yeah. and 
So if you listen to it and you figure say, yeah, this sounds like me, then synchronicity on our social media platform. That's platform. right. Synchronicity is there. And I'll, there. I'll, I'll, I'll answer because there have been some guys <laughs> who have DM me and be like, what? <laughs> <laughs> like and, there have been guys who have said, you know, me you <laughs> and, and, I, and I'm sure Courtney is just like, you know, we're never really serious till you know. I mean it's a it, song. It's a good laugh. <laughs> it's a it give me a good laugh, but then I check out them profile, I'm just like, you lied, so oh. <laughs> bye bye. Yeah. All right. Mm -mm. <laughs> Keep it moving. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah man. So Courtney, what's next? What's next for Courtney? Where where do you <clears throat> want to you know take this musical journey i mean as far as i can go is not even sky's the limit i just want i just want to do everything and for right now though you know definitely we'll be releasing more music before the year is over yeah. looking to release a project next year and in Good. terms of just me overall you know i just want to explore all my options in terms of music i don't only want to release music i want to get to a point where i'm producing music as well i want to be an engineer you know i'm really interested in the technological side of music as well so i love yeah. like you know watching producers you know, make music. I love watching engineers, you know, mix and master. And that's something I definitely see myself doing and composing and all sorts of things. You know what I mean? Yeah, but well, for right now, we just uh, perform and release it. For right now. You know, for right now. And it's always good, you know, to explore the other elements of music and not limit yourself, you know? Definitely, definitely. And of course, at the start of the interview, you talk about creatives and mm -hmm. you are a creative. Yes, I am. I can see that. <laughs> so, Courtney. Yes. It was lovely having you on next Friday this week with us. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. And we're looking out for more great works from Courtney. Yes. And remember, go check out the single that's out now. Tell them again, Courtney. It's called Seckle, Seckle produced by JLL. Check it out. S-E-K-K-L-E. -K -K -E. Definitely. So peeps, there you have it. Another exciting episode of Next Friday. Now be sure to subscribe, share, click the notification bell. You know for the man. And remember, next Friday or every Friday, we out.